Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking a simple little sketch and turning it into some vector art using Inkscape. So first thing we need to do is going to go ahead and set up our document. We're going to go to Document Properties, go ahead and uncheck the Show Page Border. We're going to keep the units on millimeters because it's not really going to matter at this point. So let's go ahead and go to View. We're going to make sure Custom is selected. We're going to go to Zoom in 1 to 1. We're then going to bring in our little sketch. And I just did this simple little sketch with a pencil on a piece of paper and then just scanned it into the into my computer with the printer scanner. If you don't um, have a scanner do that, you can also take a picture with your phone and email it to yourself or put it up on a cloud storage to get into your computer that way. Or if you uh, want to do it the uh, old school way, you can always plug in your phone to uh, a USB port and upload it that way. So to start off with, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and create our little backgrounds. So we're going to go and click the circle tool or control shift and we're going to go ahead and make that about that size. Let's go ahead and bring the opacity down a little, a little less than half, um, about 30%. We're going to go ahead and change that color to a blue um, and then we can actually go ahead and center that. Let's go ahead and make that just a little bit bigger, holding Control and Shift at the same time. That way you scale things um, symmetrically from the center. Um, and we want to go ahead and cut this bottom little portion off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our Bezier pen. And we're just going to create this little curve just like this. Just following the little pencil marks. Now that we got that little curve in, we're going to come up around outside of it because when we keep the top part of the circle we're gonna go to work. okay so now that we've got this little path set up we can actually just go ahead and duplicate the background we're gonna make sure that that duplicated background hold shift and then select the path we're gonna go to path and section and what we did was we just created this little this little ring around this circle that we created so we can actually go and Go to our stroke and style, and we're going to change the stroke width to one millimeter and then round the corners off. And then we can actually just keep this background circle because we're going to be using it at a laser date. Okay, so now that we've got our background, um, let's go ahead and draw in our mountains here. So we're going to go back to our Bezier pen. We're going to start down here in this corner and then just do a simple little trace around. We're going to make sure this last one's curved a little bit. And then um, this little shading that I've got here, let's go ahead and make that just its its own, just a single um, vector. So let's go ahead and follow these contours around a little bit. And of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. You end up clicking off of your vector, just go back to the uh, Edit Paths by Nodes tool, select the path you want, and then Go back to your Bezier pen and then select the end node, the last one that you edited, or the last one that you clicked off of. And it'll go back to creating the same path. If you don't, and just start creating a path again, when you go to close the path, it'll um, be two separate images, and Inkscape won't want to. We're actually going to go back and select that node. Just drag that curve there. Continue this little path down here and then we can close the loop. We're going to select the um, background that we had already clipped, control D to duplicate that, and then we're going to hold shift and select our um, select our mountains that we just drew. We're going to go to path and intersection. And what it's done is just clipped off that little little extra down here at the bottom creating a, a contour that matches the bottom of the image there. So let's go ahead and highlight the or the the mountains that we just put in. We're going to go back up to our fill and stroke, turn that to one millimeter, and then round those corners off to match everything else. And the north, of course, the next step on tracing this image, we're going to go make our little house down here. So let's go ahead and grab our square tool. We're just going to go ahead and go past this bottom because we're going to do the exact same thing to this that we did to these mountains here. We're going to go ahead and after we're done with that selection tool, we're going to go ahead and select the background, control D to duplicate that, holding shift, we're going to go ahead and select our little, the main body of our house, we're then going to go to path and intersection. And 
now that we've done that, we can actually um, continue to build the house that we've got this little bottom piece contoured. Because that's going to be kind of the foundation. It's going to be the bottom part of um, the bottom part of our drawing. So actually, we can actually go ahead and just delete that little blue background. Um, and then let's go ahead and add in the roof. Instead of using a shape, we're just going to use the Bazier pin. And let's go ahead and draw this. We're going to hold control to keep it nice and straight. Like there. There. So our selection tool, make sure that we change everything to one millimeter and then round those corners off. And then we're gonna hold shift and select our square down at the bottom. We're gonna go path and then combine. And all that's doing is just making this one vector, this one image that we can control. So you can, you can move that around if you want. Of course, let's go ahead and you can see that we need to add in our little chimney here. So we're gonna scroll in. We're just gonna follow that little contour there. Doesn't need to be a perfect chimney. And again, change everything over to make sure it matches. And then while holding shift and the chimney selected, we're gonna go ahead and combine those as well. So now that we need to put in our, our cute little window, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just add that little guy in there. And then we're going to select both the house and the window that we put in. Path. So what that did, it is actually combined the roof, the main body of the house, and then it added in this little square. So if you go ahead and fill that, it's going to make sure that that little square doesn't get filled because it's technically telling Inkscape that the inside of that square is um, not supposed to be filled with color. So we can go ahead and take that color back off. And the last thing that we need to add in is a little bit of this wisp smoke. So let's go ahead and do that with the Bazier pen. Super simple, we're doing the exact same steps over and over again. Of course, that's how you get consistency. Go ahead and just contour this shape and go to our Bazier pen or our uh, edit pass by nose tool. And then we could adjust, adjust these curves so they don't have as much of a break in them. Because if you hold control and you know mouse wheel in, you can see there's a little little point here that's that doesn't look quite right so we're going to change that to that okay we're going to go ahead and make sure that's selected over and change everything to one millimeter thick and then round those corners off to match the rest of the image let's go ahead and make our mountains black so go ahead and highlight those again we can make those black highlight our little house that we made and make that black and then of course our little wisp of smoke we can even Make that kind of a gray color to give it some contrast and then delete your background that's all there is to it thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching gorhamian here with misfit studios as always and if you like things that we're doing here um on the misfit studios youtube channel um hit the subscribe button give us a little comment on if you want to see anything else in inkscape and we will see you guys next time